Wow. Nothing has fallen over. Oh. Howdy, y'all. Welcome to Adventures with Kendo. Today, we're going to Parkfield, California, a small ranching community that has played an important part in the research of earthquakes. For the San Andreas Fault Line, it's just a few yards from town, and I can't wait to share you this cute community. Come on, let's go. Welcome to Parkfield, California, a small community that not many people know about. This place is important in the research of earthquakes, because this is the earthquake capital of California. Founded as Russellville, Parkfield has existed since 1884 when its post office was created. There was once mining and cattle operations. Parkfield has a wild west town feel, like this, except really small. Just look at this place. They even have nice little monuments dedicated to its heritage. This town also has a nice small cafe. But at the time of my visit, it was closed. But I want to show you its menu. Just look at the food items. The best of all is this burger. Mmm, I want that burger. They also host a bluegrass festival on the, on the grounds next to the cafe. And I would love to sit here and listen to that music. But these are not the reasons that Parkfield is famous because there's one big attribute to the state that this place has to offer. Ginger, thank you. Coming up, more problems for a troubled Earthquake. Yep, we're, we're having, having an earthquake. earthquake. Since California is an earthquake sensitive area, it's always good to monitor when the next quake will occur. And in 1986, the High Resolution Seismic Network has had a base in Parkfield. With the creation of 10 bores of that in that year and an upgrade system in 1987. Here in Parkfield, this is where we learn about seismic activity in the San Andreas Fault Line, which is a few feet from this location. This is important to keep update on what earthquake activity will happen in the state of California. The 10 seismic bores created by UC Berkeley near Parkfield work like this. When the ground shakes, sensors within the bores will pick up the vibrations. The data collected will be sent via radio or GPS antenna to UC Berkeley. When researchers get this information, they'll analyze it and then send it over to state officials to create an emergency plan within the area of the shake. This happens throughout the entire state within the UC Berkeley seismic program, but specifically in Parkfield because the shake will occur every 20 years. That is how we monitor earthquakes. Just outside Parkfield is the Shalom Creek. This is also the San Andreas Fault Line. You see how the bridge is misaligned? We're on earthquake zone. This is the Pacific Lake. Let's go to the other side. I'm on the middle of the bridge above the creek, which also means I'm above the San Andreas Fault Line. And behind those trees is the town of Parkfield. Now I'm on the North American plate. See how much of a difference it is? Well, that's all the time we have here in Parkfield. Let's head back to base, folks. Boy, wasn't that fun, wasn't it? I certainly enjoyed the peace and quiet that I got from exploring the town. While I didn't get to eat the burgers at the cafe, I certainly didn't mind. I also enjoyed seeing the beautiful creek which also happened to be the San Andreas Fault Line. It's a great reminder that nature's like a rose. The beauty on the exterior is more dangerous the more you look at it. Well, that's all the time we have here. See you later, folks, and may your gifts bless the world.